Kings Mountain is a small town west of Charlotte, and it traditionally has been a, a textile town. The textile heritage of this town goes back to the Industrial Revolution. It has been under a significant change in the last 25 years as the textile industry went offshore, but it is squarely um, small town America. And it's named after the famous Revolutionary War battle site of Kings Mountain. This is where Colonel Ferguson is buried, and he is the officer that led the Tories in the Battle of Kings Mountain. And these mountain guys, called the Over Mountain Men, had gotten word that the officers were saying they were gonna burn out people in their farms and their houses. And they said, basically, no, you're not gonna come up and get my farm and kill my family. So this battle was basically American versus American. This battle is universally regarded as the turning point of the Revolutionary War. The town of Kings Mountain was incorporated in the late 1800s and the people that populated these textile mills really came out of the hills. They, they were people that were sharecroppers and farmers. So the textile industry turned all these towns into kind of the textile belt. In 1991, uh, my partner, Mike Hawkins, and myself uh, designed a textile dyeing and finishing operation. And we came to Kings Mountain because it was already a textile town, understood textile businesses, and wanted us here. This is the plant we, Mike and I, designed and built it. We designed it in 1991 and we generally ran somewhere between 100,000 and 200,000 pounds per week of cloth. That was my office window right there. And that was my bird, he's still here. It really does feel weird being here. You know, I walked in here five to seven days a week for uh, 11 or 12 years. There's water in the treatment basin and my car is parked out front in that picture. We successfully ran our textile business for 11 years until virtually the entire textile industry moved offshore as a result of free trade agreements. Fast forward to 2015, that's when we came up with the idea for Appalachian Gear Company and we quickly grew out of our facility in Charlotte. And just through a series of events and serendipity, we wound up back in Kings Mountain. The difference is that, that this time around, we're a brand. And so people know us as Appalachian Gear, but in essence, we are a textile manufacturing company. And the cool part about it is that here we are, we're bringing some of the history back to Kings Mountain. So it's gonna be a, uh, a really interesting future for us here, especially because it feels like going back home.